This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com Hey, good afternoon everyone. Now is your daily dose of halacha. So coming to Alaska, it gives us opportunity to review some halachas that uh, perhaps we don't have a chance to focus on during the rest of the year. Now I would like to talk about Zman Tfilas Mincha. We're headed toward Mincha. And I want to talk about uh, the proper Zman for Mincha and Marav. We all know that there's Machloikes, the Chachomim, and Rabbi Yehuda, what the Zman Mincha Marav is. The Chachomim hold that Zman Mincha is until the Laila, until the night, until the stars come out, until Shkia, which means Zman Mincha is until then. You could daven Mincha until the Laila, and you daven Marav after that. Rabbi Yehuda has a Chiddush. Rabbi Yehuda says, Zman Mincha is until Plaga Mincha, an hour and a quarter before the night. And once a Plaga Mincha comes, you can already daven Marav. That's the famous Machlaikis in the Sech Brachas, Dav Chav Zayin. And what's the Maskana? Who do we hold like? Do we hold like the Chachamim? That you could daven Mincha until the night time and Marav after? Or do we hold like Rabbi Yehuda that Mincha is until Plaga Mincha? And Marav could then be after Plaga Mincha. Now, Davening Marav after Plaga Mincha would allow for uh, a nice leniency on a day like today when we have uh, we have to wake up very early tomorrow and to wait until Tzeis HaKoychavim by the way, tonight Tzeis HaKoychavim is about 12.30 p.m. So to have to Daven Marav after 12.30 or even to wait till Shkia is very late. So who do we hold like? Do we hold like the Rabbanon? Do we hold like Rabbi Yudah? So the conclusion is, the conclusion of the Gemara is the Avid Kemar Avid with the Avid Kemar Avid. You could follow either opinion. Pick them. Choose. Choose your opinion. You want to go like the Chachamim? You want Davin Mar a Mincha until the night? Because to hey, Davin Marav after? No problem. You want to follow Rabbi Huda? Also not a problem. Davin Mincha to Plag? Davin Marav after. However, the Shulchan Aruch says, Rehu Sheyasalon Chaminayo. You have to be consistent. Consistent means the same thing every day. Which means, if you dab in Mincha sometime until the night, let's say until Shkia, then on a different day when it works out for you, you cannot dab in Marev after Plaga Mincha. Because since sometimes you render after Plaga Mincha day, you can't turn around on a different time and dab in Marev then. That's why the halacha is, the baseline halacha is, you know, sometimes people, Sunday night, they want to call it uh, early night, so they want to dab in Marav after Plaga Mincha. It's not correct. You can't do that. The question is, what about B'Sha'as HaTchak? B'Sha'as HaTchak, you have a difficult circumstance. Let's say we have to be up uh, very early tomorrow. Let's say we have to be up 4 a.m. And uh, I assume, presumably, most people will, da- will take Mincha up to the Laila. They'll dab in Mincha before the Shkia, obviously, with all present company, uh, without, uh, uh, I mean, this, this, uh, the following message does not necessarily represent the view of all the Rabbah and he, but it represents my view, that you have to complete the Mincha before the Shkia. That's what the Mishnah Baruch says, you have to complete the Mincha before the Shkia. So let's say people usually dab Mincha before the Shkia. On a different day, you can't turn around and then dab in uh, Marev after Plaga Mincha. So, uh, could we do that today? It would seem like it is still reasonable for us to do that, even though it would not be consistent with our usual uh, practice, because the Mechaber says, B'Sha'a Satchak, a person could dab in Marev from Plaga Mincha and on. Now, the Mishnah Baruch explains, provided that it's not what we call Tarti Dasasri, which means if you're going to dab in Mincha on that day after Plaga Mincha, then even B'Sha'a Satchak should not daven Marev before the Laila. So, B'Sha'as HaTchak, in a difficult circumstance, you could, let's say, turn around one, uh, on, on a day that's extremely difficult and go like Rabbi Yehuda, provided that you don't contradict yourself and do a Tarti Dasasri. Friday night may be different. You'll act, ask your uh, local Orthodox Paisek, maybe once your Mikado Shabbos, so your Mashve Laila. But uh, that's, that's what our... Uh, Avir Tfila routine is going to be uh, utilizing what the Shulchan Aruch says that the Shas Hatchak 
you could have in Marav after Pagamincha, provided that it's not Karti the Sasi. Now, an interesting question is, what if, if you don't do a Tarti the Sasri, you're not going to have a minion. The minion will be lost. This is a very interesting question. The Mishabru and Simon Reish Lama Gimel seems to say that if you davened Mincha one day after Plaga Mincha and you don't turn around and daven Marav immediately, there might be basis to be able to keep the minion. However, the Mishnabura elsewhere in Simon Reish Samat Zayn Sikhat and Beis and the Biralacha says that um, one should not be makal even if you're going to lose the minion. So uh, the bottom line is, under normal, regular circumstances, it's always best to be uh, consistent uh, on a daily basis. In other words, now if a person wanted, they could daven Marav every single night after Plaga Mincha and daven Mincha before. But the usual practice is most people, they take Mincha up to the Shkia, and uh, davening Marav after Plaga Mincha would not be viable unless it's what we call Shas Hadchak. Okay, that's your first uh, halacha dose before supper. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.